Hey everyone, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a my plan with me for the week of March 14th to the 20th and we're going to get started first in my Erin Condren vertical. So my change this week is that I am using some handmade Canadian stickers and these particular stickers are actually from the Winterfield Studios company and um, I've actually, I'm on Facebook, on uh, Lana's Facebook group, but her name is Lana Winterfield. And I'll make sure to have all of her information and the link to her website down below for you guys. So this particular scene is actually a scene sticker kit. And um, from what I know, like, there is this thing called a, like a Canadian collab sale for um, handcrafted stickers. And this is when I bought this kit. And I actually have a few other ones I'm interested to use as well. And I really liked this one because it reminded me of spring. And it's the Strawberry Fields um, kind of landscape kit. I've always wanted to do something like this. And it just makes the spread look really decorative, really super pretty. And it's just, it's really nice. Perfect for spring. So... I did decorate the bottom with the kind of like green fields and then the top has this little like I guess almost like a decorative washi tape element but um, I was struggling here a bit because it's right on the edge of the paper so I turned my planner upside down and you can see how I repositioned the stickers they weren't quite like the Christian design vinyl stickers but they still came up okay and um, I was able to place them correctly so then moving on, I used quite a few boxes here, but I think what I did first is I placed the date stickers. And if you guys have this um, like vertical Erin Condren, you'll notice there's like that little um, empty box right underneath the date. So I just kind of covered that up with these stickers as well. It was a perfect fit. And then I just entered in the date with my black Pentel Energel gel pen. And I also added a barn on the left hand corner and I just think it was so cute. Like I, there, I also had a choice between the strawberry fruit stand, which I really wanted to use, but I think this kit will actually allow me to have another week. So I'm excited to um, plan with the same kit again. So instead, I decided to use these little list stickers for my weekly tasks, mostly for my business stuff. So I put that in the top box right there. And then there goes the barn, which again, super cute. I love it. And then what I decided to do is I put my posting schedule for, uh, I guess, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday on the first little notch of the list sticker just to remind myself that I need to post on those days. And then throughout the week I do just use boxes and stuff for my reminders of cleaning and picking up my son and I really like these weekly kits if they're a little bit more decorative like this one is. Generally if I just have list stickers and then I'm using some random stickers from the Happy Planner. It's not as nice and I don't like it as much. And also, um, just to kind of make it stick out a bit more, I did decide to use my Zebra Mile Liner. Um, it, it actually matches the strawberry color perfectly. And I just highlighted that posting video just so I could like see it right away. And yes, for the rest of the spread I used these boxes and honestly you guys I didn't have a whole lot going on this week I basically just have my regular old grocery shopping on the Monday I've got cleaning on the Tuesday and the Wednesday Thursday is my budget day and again my son has early dismissal Friday we pay the bills and I did leave the rest of the spread blank except for a few decorative stickers from the same kit which you'll see here and um, I yeah I, I kind of like how the spread isn't too filled up with stuff and like I said this week is pretty mellow and I'm just gonna write some editing stuff at the top when I get to that particular day so there are some times when I'll have weeks that I know I'm super crazy busy so I will just write everything out and then there are times that I really don't know what I'll be doing on those days so I just decided to leave it blank. 
And as you can see in this kit, that sticker I just placed down is actually, and the same with that one, they're actually silver foil. So they're really pretty, but they do look black from the angle that I've taken this video. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. So the only thing I added was on the sidebar was just my meal plan. I used this little box, wrote meals, and then highlighted um, the Sunday through to the Saturday. I think I added Sunday at the end because I start my week Sunday usually and I realized this planner goes Monday to Sunday. So I just have two Sundays, no biggie. But there's uh, Lana's card. So Again, I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys so you can go check out her website. She has some really pretty stickers. And now we're moving on to the bullet journal. So I'm pulling out my Archer and Olive and I'm kind of keeping with the same theme. I do not have feathers in this week, but what I decided to do is pull out my Tombow dual brush pens. I'll leave all the colors I used in the spread down below. and. All I did was kind of like a wave pattern to denote like writing down the titles of the things I usually write. I did decorate my page with this Simply Gilded Washi like I was talking about last week. I will link last week's plan with me if you want to take a little look-see. And um, this is like the really light pink and purpley blue pastel washi tape and it's got like the stardust pattern on it. So this one also goes really really well with my theme this month and I again I can't say how much I love using washi tape to decorate my page and really when it comes down to it in my bullet journal my main decorative page is truly the cover page where I have my quote page and the title page but the rest of my spreads are really um, just kind of easy, simple, and they're more essential stuff like my planning and um, you know my calendars and stuff like that. I don't really add too many decorative elements throughout my monthly spread. Um, but here as you can see I am adding events and I just kind of did like a squiggle line with my Tombows and then I added um, I do go Sunday to Saturday in my bullet journal because it just messes me up too much if I always try to plan Monday to Sunday. And I use the varying colors of my Tombows to write or I guess color in this little area. And this part is my things to do. The right hand side of the page is my grocery list. And then I also include a next week and a note section. To be quite honest, I don't really use the note section unless something comes up, which it honestly doesn't really. But I have been filling out the next week just in case there are like days off school or appointments or anything like that. And then I just separate it to Costco, Walmart, and Sobeys, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And click on that bell notification button to be notified every time I upload. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye now.